Doctor Who, The War Games, Episode 3, Road. The ambulance engine catches and Carstairs gets in as Balkanum slowly backs the ambulance up the road and it fades away. The Romans get there. They just stop in mid-yell. Ambulance. Sorry, that was a close shave. Where are we, Doctor? Jamie. Oh, no. We're not back here again. Carstairs and Buckingham join them in the back. Doctor. Ah, Lieutenant Carstairs. Is this the only map you suppl- you've supplied with? Carstairs. Yes, that's that's the one. Doctor. It's a bit inadequate, isn't it? Buckingham. Doctor. Who are those people who attacked us just now? Doctor. Oh, they were Romans. Carstairs. But that's impossible. Doctor. Oh. Lots of thing, possible things happen when you pass through time. Buckingham, time? But no one can alter time. Doctor, look at it. Look. Doctor, look. It is 1917 where we are now on this map. When we were attacked by the Romans, it is 2,000 years ago. Carl says, but surely, Doctor. Doctor, surely before we met the Romans, we passed through a mist, didn't we? A gas, you called it. Now, supposing this mist is a barrier between different time zones. So we are sea, so we went off the edge of this map into a different time zone. Doctor, yes. What we need is a map which covers all the time zones. I'm afraid we shall have to get back to General Smythe's headquarters to the chateau. So you have, well, how are we going to get back there? Doctor, well, that's easy. You take this. They will take us. British command post, Ransom. No trace of them. Well, keep searching. Jamie and Car- the doctor enter, followed by Carstairs. Carstairs, Lieutenant Carstairs reporting, sir. I brought back the prisoners. Ransom? Carstairs, what on earth have you been up to? What do you mean by giving me that fake report from the general? I warn you, Carstairs. You're in a very serious trouble, you Carstairs points his revolver directly at Ransom. Ransom? Have I, have you gone mad? Carstairs, I'm sorry about this, sir. Ransom, you, you'll be shot for this, Carstairs. Carstairs, yes, sir. Jamie takes Ransom's gun. Carl says, don't do anything foolish, sir. I, I can't, I think it might be better if you, if you raise your hands. The doctor rummages, rummages around for maps. Carl says, bandages, doctor? Doctor what? Oh yes, I'm afraid there's nothing here. Only local maps. Here we are. Perhaps there's something in the colonel's room I can go and see. Ransom, this is mutiny, I hope you. Jamie stuffs the handkerchief in Ransom's mouth and fastens it there. With a bandage. It's my room. The doctor enters and looks around. Carstairs, find anything? Doctor, well, only this safe. Carstairs, the only get inside that is to blow it up. Doctor, oh, what a good idea. Carstairs, you're serious? Doctor, well, this is a military establishment. You must, there must be some explosives around here. Carstairs, right, I'll see what I can find. Doctor, good. Carstairs leaves. Je- doctor, Jamie, I wonder where perhaps I can pick. Jamie, I wonder, Doctor, I wonder if perhaps I can p- pick this lock. Jamie, I, with a toony fork. The ransom is tussled up on a city. Carstairs opens boxes and crates in the drawing room. Doctor, Jamie, ah, oh, come on, Doctor. We haven't got all night. Someone's bound to turn up. Doctor, yes, I know, Jamie. Oh dear, this is useless. Jamie enters with a hand sized device. Jamie, what's that thing? Carl says, it's a Mars bomb. It's all I could find. I thought we might hang it up on front of the safe and let it off. Doctor, oh well, yes, we, that might blow the room up very nicely. I don't think it would affect the safe much. Now we see, you see, we have to concentrate the doctor is fiddling with a primitive grenade. Carl says, let out, look out. Carl doctor, the whole explosion into the lock there. Curse says, blow us all up. Todd and a nail, then. If I can pack the explosives into the lock and then detonate it, then detonate it. Ah, here we are. Now, then. Oh, yes, I see. Curse says, for goodness sake, be careful. There's Atomol in there. Todd, it's all right. I do have the detonate. If I, I do have the detonate, you know. Ah, oh, then, just release this. There we are. That's what. Now what have we got? Oh, yes. The doctor pours the explosive power there. And onto a piece of paper. Tutter, this fuse, how long does it last? Carl says, about four seconds. Tutter, oh, that's not very good, is it? Dot looks for the longer fuse, briefly considering on one of the tassels on Jamie's best dark boron. He sets us a break in a candle and uses it as a wick. He inserts it carefully into safe lock. 
Doctor, there we are. Ransom, help, help. British command post. Ransom has tipped over the settee and dislodged his gag, obviously. Sergeant Ransom, Sergeant Major, help. Carl says, I'm sorry about this, sir. Can't have you making a row. Crane, hello? Carl says, drop my pen. Crane, oh, Captain Ransom about. Carl says, oh, I'm looking after things. Can I help? Crane, well, it's a bit tricky, actually. The sentry found these two ladies hiding in an ambulance. Carl says, well, what about it? Crane, well, you remember there was a spy, pa- spy flap earlier today. Something about them getting away in an ambulance. One of them was a woman. I don't think we've met before, have we? Jamie's room. Jamie strikes a match. They hide behind Smythe's camp bed. The doctor covers his head with a pillow. Doctor, now we light the blue touch paper. Retire immediately. British command post, Buckingham. This is completely ridiculous, Carl says. Really, old chap? You can leave them to me. I'm sure we can sort it out. Crane, you don't think I ought to wait for Colonel Tr- Captain Ransom? Carl says, you might be quite some time. Crane, I can't, I can wait. How long do you say you've been in attachment here? Smiles room, Crane, how long? Carl says, OC, about three months. Jamie, something's out there. Well, Carl says, they let go to listen to the door. British command post car says, you might leave, you may leave them to me, old chap. It's quite under control, Crane. Oh well. Right you are. Sorry about all this. Do hope you understand. Can't afford to take, a, can't take any chances, you see. Sorry, we you quite understand. Crane's room, Crane, OC. Perhaps you should stay for dinner. We don't often see ladies here. A chat to the mess right, would be delighted. Back in a O.C., sorry, but we really have to go on our way. Doctor, we shall have to put the fuse out. It's too late. Duck. British command post. Crane, cheerio. Crane leaves. The safe blows boom. He rushes back in again. Crane, what the blazes? Smythe's room. Crane runs in. The doctor and Jamie are coughing. Crane turns. And raises his arms. Clark says, now don't do anything foolish, old boy. Doc, have you got any more bandages? Doctor, oh yes, here we are, Jamie. Crane, you, Carstairs, the one who met, we're not, you are Carstairs, the one who went off with the spies. Carstairs, go on, come on, come on. Jamie takes Crane out to be tied up. The doctor's found a map marked off in triangles. So he enters Dr. Look, Zoe. 1917 zone, Roman zone, American Civil War zone. This place is divided into time zones, Zoe. But it's a blank space in the middle. There's nothing marked at all. Doctor, yes, I think that's where we got, that's where we got, what we got to get to. Not the China, not to the Korean, for the years, Russo, Japanese, Creek, Boar, Peninsula, English Civil, or Mexican Civil War zones. Though the ambulance is stopped by German patrol. Doctor, this is ambulance, with seriously off- wounded officer in the back. German goes round as he car says, having his brow mopped by Zoe, with Buckingham attending, German, seat must Mint on Kuhlman. Doctor, ah, you want me to come with you? Oh well, if you put it like that. Yes, here we go. German Trench. Sorry, what's going on? Going to happen with us, Dr. Jamie? Ah, foreigners, look, what's the use of pretending that Carstairs is wounded? They're bound to find out sooner or later. Jamie, well, Zoe, at least it stopped them taking him as a prison camp. Besides, he's safe in the ambulance with Jeff, Jennifer. Jamie, I, how about for how long though? Zoe, well, perhaps the doctor will be able to talk them into letting us go. Jamie, I, German field office, lock. For the first time, what, for the last time, what is your name? Doctor, why don't you, doctor, why don't you just call me doctor? Look, look, looky. Ah, very well, doctor John Smith. Looky, what is not a name? I want your full name. Doctor, oh, oh, very well, Dr. John Smith. Looky, good. Now we are getting somewhere. What are you going doing behind our lines? Doctor, well, we got we're lost, you see. Looky, so you are lost. Very conveniently, you find your way through our lines. Doctor, I realise this must seem rather strange. Looky, I find it both strange and suspicious, Doctor. But I soon assure you, you're quite harmless. Looky, the three people dressed in civilian clothes, trying to infiltrate through our lines. Admit it, you're spies, Doctor. No, no, we're not spies. 
Look at you then, tell me, where do you come from before you were picked up by the ambulance? Doctor, well, you see, it's rather difficult to explain. Look at you, everything seems to be difficult for you to explain. I advise you to tell me the truth now. Look at you, his revolver. Doctor, all right, if you insist. German trench, a soldier gives them two Prussian helmets. To me. Oh, I don't know how how they stick it out here. So it's the same with the British, remember? So, Jamie, what a way to fight, though. Hiding in wee holes and blasting each other with big guns. Boom. Sorry, I wish we could get out of here, Zoe, Jamie. German field office, lucky. Other plan, plan, planets, a time machine, the girls from the future, the boys from the past. Dada, well, you told me to tell you the truth. Lucky, I think you must be mad. Dada, why don't you ask my companions if you don't believe me? Lucky, Brut, Bingen, Zee, Zonda, Andron, Ingela, Herrien, Sofferdart. We shall see if your story is the same, Jamie and Zorienta. Lucky, your moment, where did you meet this man? Dada, tell him the truth, both of you. Lucky, silence, well. Zoe, we met him at a space station. Lucky, space station? And where did you meet this man? Jeremy, in Scotland. Lucky, ach, now tell me when. Jeremy, in 1749, I was fighting the Redcoats. Lucky, you were fighting the Redcoats in 1749? Amulus was going, was good. Was it going to the hospital or lunatic asylum? Doctor, oh dear, look, look, I can't prove it to you. We, that we come from another time. It's a sonic screwdriver. This is where I can demonstrate. Ah, what the revolver would do. It's all right. Lukey places his weapon on the table and doctors and screws a hand grip without touching it. Ta da, there you are. Take it back. Then back, back it goes. Lukey, fantastic. Ta da, do you believe, believe me now? Lukey, but it's impossible. You do not touch the screw. It just moved. Possibly you're telling me the truth. A bald archetype of Prussian enters, complete with jewelry and scar. All we need is a monocle. Von Welch, Lieutenant Lucky, 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 Javel, Mun, Hair. Um, Von Welch, Van, Deeds, Deeds, Diesel, Lieutenant. Lucky, Va, Va, Han, and Her. Von Welch, Vos, this is lost. Lucky, Hava, Haben, Her, Jal, English, Ha, Zilidan, Zilidan, Ha, Katanem. Von Welch, where are you, what are you doing here? Where do you come from, Dr. Well? Welch, look, looky, ah, hit, ma, gusit, das, es, asos, etamen, ataron, selamen, cam, in etamen, ruffelman, ninim, tardis. Von Welch, time travellers? Dr. Well, it's a little more, it's a little more, little difficult to understand, but von Welch, attend, look, common. Sit bit bit ma ma jockey Java Johal my captain Lord Rich Room for Rich Lee's look looky through a curtain and screws in on his moniker. Von Velch Is this sad English here a spunderon? Va missen on foot and the out and the ex winnen mit dum German Dutta speaken. Lucky Javel her captain von Welch Lucky slows down, back through the candle, curtain, German field office. Lucky, you are dangerously good spies, Doctor. But this is ridiculous, Lucky. You are spies, and you're going to be shot. Van Wilch's room, behind a portrait, hanging on a panel. Wall is another monitor, screen just like Smithers. Von Welch, Von Welch, 1917, front command. Front line to central control. We captured the three people who escaped from the bridge, etc. They claim to be time travellers. German field office. Doctor, no, no. We're not spies. Sonic screwdriver. We've just shown you with the, with the gun. Lucky, yes, you did something with the gun. Jerry, let the doctor show you again, huh? Dot AS. Jerry, now it's very simple. Put the gun on the table. You can keep your hand on it again. Keep your hand again if you like. Now watch the screw in the grip goes up and down again. Lucky, yes, and then you put it back again, again. Doctor, yes. Doctor, that's right. Lucky, is it possible? Doctor. Oh, we got lots of tricks like that. 
Let me show you. Catch Jamie. Jamie catches the gun and points at Lucky. Doctor, now, Lieutenant. Sorry, I'm sorry about this. Perhaps you'd be good enough to take us back to our ambulance. War room, large and alien, starred by people wearing visors and overalls. Alarm sounds. Smythe is among almost there. Four girls in wet suits with laser rifles or or similar enter, followed by a man with a square medallion around his neck. Smythe just as the other staff leaves. Smythe, did you have a comfortable trip, sir? Well, Chief, excellent. The law Lord, Lord is pleased with our work, but the rate of progress must be accelerated. Smythe, a report from my own, sir. Prisoners escaped from the chateau, been recaptured on German lines, have been advised to advise him... It may be shot immediately. I give some ridiculous story that they're being time travellers. Well, Chief, time travellers? And you ordered them to be shot? I, s- I want you to bring... I want them brought here for integration. And arm sounds again. One velch for the monitor. He's... As prisoners, they escaped. They probably got back to our lines. It's my... How did, did that happen? Well, Welch... On Monday, they tricked my home and Lieutenant Welsh Smythe. Ah, it's sheer incompetence. Well, Chief, they also escaped from you, General Smythe. Organised pursuit and report back here. Well, Welch, on Monday, sir, transmission ends. Well, Chief, General, ensure General Alert. I want these people caught alive. Caught alive. Smythe, general alert to all time zones. Five escaped prisoners travelling to, to a 1917 British ambulance. Travelling in a 1917 British ambulance. Clearly marked with a red cross. If prisoners may be capable of crossing the time barriers, officers ascribed the ambulance to the human troops as hostile vehicle, which would be, must be destroyed at all costs, War Chief. Time travellers, I wonder. Smythe, description of travellers. Description, the description of prisoners as, is as follows. Ambulance under the gaze of the American soldier. The ambulance stops and Carstairs goes to the back. Carstairs, can I have a look at this map, map, doctor? Doctor, yes, you may. Here we are. Carstairs, it's been, we've been, just been through another one of those mists. We've gone off the edge of my, off of my map. So, where do you think we are, doctor? Doctor, I think we're right, right about there. Sorry, America, 1862. That was American Civil War, wasn't it? Another war? Gunshots. Carstairs, gun, get down. Road. A soldier fires and Carstairs shoot back. Carstairs, get moving. Ambulance, the doctor, put his head out. Say, old doctor, be careful, Zoe. V- Z- doctor, Zoe, we're, we're right. Is it, that, was a, that was an American Civil War soldier. Jerry, you mean we mixed up in another war now? Doctor, yes, but it means we're on the right road. We're still making the bu- for the blank space in the middle of the ramp. Road, further on the tree falls in front of the ambulance. Car says, Jamie. Jamie, the doctor, and Zoe get out of the ambulance. They're about to move a, t- a tree when shots are fired. Car says, the only one who actually hits his target, though. The son of the alive is running away. Car says, get the, that tree moved, doctor. Come on. Carstairs takes out another man, creeping up behind the ambulance. He tackles a full hand to hand. Jamie deals with another. The doctor and Zoe drag the tree off the road. Doctor, where have you been? We've done we've done it without you. Carstairs holds off some horsemen at the free at free get back into the with the ambulance. As he then he has to change pistols as more cavalry arrive. Carstairs, luck lady. Jennifer, drive on. Further on to back, uh, on. Buckingham pulls the ambulance over. So bushes are carried right past. She opens the engine cover. Doctor, what's wrong? Buckingham, I'm afraid we've run out of petrol. Doctor, oh no, no, no. Buckingham, you well, Lieutenant Carstairs? Jamie, <laughs> we held him off while we got, we, he held him off while we got away. Buckingham, oh dear. Sorry. Oh well, what do we do? What do we do? Doctor, there's only one thing for it. We should have to go by foot along, come along. War room. Smythe, if the, my troops make a push here, 
What resistance can you put up? From Welch, along here, we shall have pillar boxes, machine gun nests, nine men's. Nine men's, so there's no chance but that there'll be excellent tests of our morale of, of, of all your humans. Your entire force will be wiped out. Smive, ah, but I use my replacement. To turn your flank there, Van Welch, then it will be not be a fair battle. Why, perhaps not. Yet it will be an excellent test for your, of your morale. We'll chief these specimens of we are discussing. An ambush was laid out of only one who's captured. Why, each one. Well, chief, a young lieutenant, one of yours. He said he could have got away, but he stayed behind to help the others escape Van Welch. These humans are quite, are very loyal to one another in stressed situations, War Chief. One of their finest qualities. He bring, we, he's bringing back here for re, he's being bring back here for reprocessing. Balm. Crickets are singing. Must be evening, Jamie. Ah, Jamie, it's all right. This will do for night, eh? Doctor, oh yes, Jamie, this looks all right. Zoe, I wish we knew where the Lieutenant Carstairs was. Jamie, we shouldn't have let him left him, you know. Doctor, well, Doctor, it was the way he wanted it. Zoe, well, now what do we do? We've lost Lieutenant Carstairs. The ambulance has broken down. We're miles from the TARDIS. Doctor, we carry on, of course. We've got no alternative. Jamie, are oh, we all heading for that blank space in the map, map of yours? Doctor, yes, that's where we find the answer. Now we better get some rest. We have to start early in the morning. Materialization sounds. Feels the barn. Doctor, quick hide. A spariat appears and then opens. It's Georgian, ten human soldiers. Zoe, so how, so many of them. Hey, look, that thing must be bigger inside than the outside. Just like the TARDIS, Doctor. I, I must have a look inside, Jamie. Oh, I'll be careful now, Doctor. Buckingham. Who, what on earth is it? So it's some kind of space machine, I think. Buckingham. Do that bit again, sorry. Barn, crickets are singing. It must be evening. Jamie, it's all right. Here's a do for the week, night, eh? Huh? Oh yes, Jamie, that looks all right. It looks all right, Zoe. I think we knew that we knew where Lieutenant Carstairs was. Zoe, I wish we knew where Lieutenant Carstairs was. Jamie, we shouldn't have left him. Now you know, Dodo is the way he wanted it. Zoe, how? Now what do we do? We've lost Lieutenant Carstairs. The ambulance has broken down, a miles away from the TARDIS. Doctor, we carry on, of course. We've got no alternative, Jamie. We are still heading for the blank space in that map of yours. Doctor, yes, that's where we have find the answer. We better get some rest. We have to start early in the morning. A materialization sound hits, fills a barn. Doctor, quick hide as Terriette appears and opens, disgorging ten soldier, union soldiers. Sorry, so many of them. I think it must be bigger in the outside, just like the out of TARDIS. Doctor, I think... I must, doctor, I must have a look inside, Jamie. Oh, but be careful now, Doctor. Buckingham. What on earth is it? So it's some kind of time machine, I think. Buckingham, but it just appeared from nowhere. Then it, there, there is gunfire outside. Zoe, Doctor? Jamie, come along. Come in, getting closer, Zoe. Oh, Doctor, come back. So he goes into Syria. Sidrat. Jerry, oh no, oh no, Zoe, don't, don't, Lady Jennifer. Sirrette clo- closes. Jamie op- runs to Buckingham at the door, barn door. Jamie, keep away from the door. The Sirrette materializes. Jamie, Doctor, no, Zoe, no, oh no.